Well, hi, welcome back. It's Jeff here from Picture Time, and we're still up at the cabin. Six weeks we've nice. been in quarantine. And I'm back here with my father-in-law, Tim. Say hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. <laughs> that was a big hit on the last video, and we showed you the tour of the Tudor sedan. Today, we wanted to show you the 1931 Model A pickup truck that you and I restored, and then maybe we'll teach someone to drive it. You know, uh, we've got a 16-year-old granddaughter, I think, that would love to try it driving the truck. I'd love to teach her. All right, well, we're, we're going to tell you a little bit about this truck and then we're going to try and teach my 16-year-old daughter how to how to drive it and we'll take you for a ride. So, join us. First off, we, we got this truck back in the 90s, didn't we? Well, it was 1999. It was in southern Wisconsin in a little town called Paoli. My wife and I were down visiting her mother in Monticello. I had meetings in Madison, so I drove by this place and I noticed this rusty thing behind the building. So, I checked on it and uh, turns out the guy wanted to sell it, so I bought it. And brought it home, and then we let it sit in a shed for probably five years for st in storage. And then you and I and Kevin, our other son-in-law, took it apart and then rebuilt it just piece by piece. It took about eight years to do this, but we had so much fun doing it. A little bit at a time, we didn't uh, work at it all at once, we just did a little at a time. And then we've been driving it now for about uh, 10 years. It's really, really fun. Great, yeah. great, great truck. And you have quite a few grandkids. They've enjoyed it? Well, we, we have. We have uh, eight grandkids, and they go all the way from 7 to 16, so it's a nice spread. What they really like is going for rides to get ice cream in the truck, but then also parades are, are really a neat thing. And every 4th of July, we have a great 4th of July parade, and so we have the truck in the parade. The kids sit in the back, and all we're doing is we're selling smiles. We're not selling anything or promoting anything other than family and smiles. Yeah. It's so much fun. Well, we are certainly about making memories as a family and trying to do that on a budget. I understand you can actually get into one of these things. I mean, especially if you do the work yourself, um, you can get into one of these things fairly reasonable, right? Well, it's, it's really pretty reasonable, especially if you do your own work. You know, the, and, but the materials are not that expensive. The, 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 uh, the pieces are available readily through the magazines. There's several different magazines. You can get them in three or four days and you can build them up. As long as you have a frame and a front axle and a rear axle, you're ready to go. Just build it from there. But yeah, you can get it in, in into one of these for very nicely done for you know fifteen thousand or something like that, which is a pretty pretty reasonable price, especially compared to what you've you know we've gone to this uh, car show together, right? The Back to the Fifties oh. car show, and it's uh, how many cars there every year? Well, usually about thirteen thousand. So thirteen thousand, and you know we'll have a guy parked next to us with a hundred thousand dollars into a neat muscle car or something, and the line to see. This truck is even longer almost. It's so fun. This is a head turner. It's people wave, they smile, give hand, give thumbs up, and uh, it's just really, really fun. Well, I understand there's a little bit of a, I mean, it drives pretty similar to a modern car, right? But there's some different things that you need to do before you, before you get going. There's a few more steps involved, but I'll walk through that with Annika when we're, when we're teaching her how to drive. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe we should bring Annika in at this oh. point. Yeah, it'd be did, great. You, did you let the cat out of the bag and let her know that we're going to teach her? Well, you know, I think we did sort of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she'll, she'll have a fun time. Well, come on in. Come on in, Annika. Hey, guys. Hey, this is hey, our 16-year-old granddaughter. This is my granddaughter. 16 year old granddaughter. I mean, no, not no. my granddaughter. <laughs> this is my I daughter. I mean to tell you. Your granddaughter. <laughs> and how do you feel about driving the truck? I'm excited to learn how to do it. I drive a stick shift usually, so I'm excited to learn how to drive a car that's a little bit older than the one I'm used to driving. Yeah, like 89 years old. Just, yeah, just a bit. <laughs> so today, we're going to teach a 16-year-old how to drive an 89-year-old car. Stay with us. Hey, let's go. Let's uh, check you out on how to do this. First thing we have to do is we have to open the hood. You have to release the levers, and then we can raise the hood up. And then this is the gas valve right here. Oh, this is in the off position. Now we have to turn it to the on position, like that. So and it's flat with the wall. But this is a little four-cylinder, 40-horse engine. Your your car back home probably has a little more horsepower than this probably. one. Probably. Probably. So then anyway, then we uh, put the hood back down, and we latch. You want to latch that one? Yep. Pull it up and move it down over. You got to pull hard. Then we want to check to make sure that we have uh, plenty of antifreeze in the, in the radiator. So we lift, turn and lift the, the lid, and we look down and see if there's antifreeze, and there is. So, these older cars sometimes use a little bit of antifreeze, but in this one case, it doesn't use much at all, but it's always good to check. Then we want to also check the oil, and we do the same thing here, where we lift the other side. And we have a dipstick right here that we check the oil and see what we're doing. We're down about a half a quart, but we're okay. That'll work out, work out just fine. Oh. 
They were ready to go. Okay, well, let's get in. I'll show you what to do on the inside once we get established. This is exciting because I've driven in this car for so much of my childhood and I've ridden in the back when we do parades, but I've never been in driver's seat before. Really? Nor did I think I would learn how to do it. <laughs> It'll be a fun day. Well, let me kind of walk you through. Yeah. First of all, we just have an ignition switch, which okay. we turn on when we're ready to start. Perfect. We have a gas gauge. We have a quarter of a tank, which is plenty for our trip today. And then we've got an ammeter, which tells whether we're charging or discharging the battery. Which is our speedometer now. doesn't, it probably goes up to 80, but it'll only probably go about 45 in okay. reality and tells how many miles we have in the odometer. There's an oil pressure gauge and also a temperature gauge, okay. which these weren't standard either with the Model A, but they're awfully nice to have to be able to yeah. know, what, know what's happening in the engine. And we've got a choke control here, which we will uh, use once we get starting the engine. And then over on the steering wheel, we've got several different things. This is the uh, spark. In order to start the engine, we need to put the spark all the way to the up position. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as it starts, we move it down to about half, half of the uh, position, halfway. And on this side, we have, a, we have a, a, a throttle. And that does the same thing as the thing that your, your pedal on the floor does. It moves the pedal when you do this. So what we like to do is we like to get it up just a little bit in RPM. So we put it down about a half an inch and that'll give us a little bit of RPM. And then we can get ready to start. You know about shifting, you, you're used to your car instead of yes. having a five speed. In this case, we only have three. So this is a first, second, and third. Okay. And then reverses straight up. Okay. So it's just a simple H pattern. So in order to start though, we have to push the starter button, which is the button way down right up here. Okay. So you'll wanna push that with your toe. Why don't you practice one, put your toe up there. There you go. Okay, no, don't do it yet. Okay, just that's where it's located. Okay. And now we're getting ready to start. So push the clutch in first of all, which is the same as on your car on the left. And then put the gear shift in neutral, which is up and just, yep, there you go. And now you've already got this emergency brake on, so you don't have to worry about your brake. So the next thing that we do is we check to make sure that this is all the way in the up position, the sparks all the way up. Okay. And this is down about a half inch or so. Perfect. And then turn the key on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you can pull the choke and then push the clutch pedal. I want to pull the choke out, then press the start. Yep, push and pull okay. the choke, and then as soon as it starts turning around, just turning it over, just push it in. Push hard. <laughs> oh, no. Perfect, great. And then push the lever halfway down, the spark lever, there you go. You see how it runs a little bit? And you can move this down just a little bit if you like. Perfect. So it's idling nicely. You want to check oil pressure, make sure we've got good oil pressure, which we do. Perfect. And of course the temperature won't start building until we get to get it on the road. All right. We're charging nicely. We've got a quarter of a tank. We're, we're ready. Okay, I forgot to tell you, we're not driving at night. We're driving in the daytime, so we won't need lights. But in case you do need the lights, this is the light button. And uh, this is off. If you want to put it on a what's called a, uh, a parking light position or running light, you put it here. Put it back to neutral if you want to take it off. And this is low beam here, and this is high beam on this location. And so you want to drive it like that because it's daytime, it's a beautiful day. And of course, this is the horn. You can push that if you'd like. Ah, I love that sound. Me too. <laughs> Shut it off, I want to show you one more thing. Okay. That's different than your car. This car does not have synchro mesh, which is a system that cars came with directly after this model, actually, where, this, where the synchro mesh actually lines up the gears when you're shifting from first into second and then into from second into third. So what we have to do instead, we have to double clutch. Okay. And that simply means that when you're going from first to second, so push the clutch in, okay, and then shift it up to neutral. Okay, and then let the clutch out for just a moment. Let it out all the way, just kind of fast, and then back in again, and then you push it up into second. Gotcha. And then to go again, when you're going from, then let the clutch out. Okay, we're going down the road in second. Okay, and then you want to shift to, to third. So you push the clutch in, and then quickly, yep, and quickly let it out and put it back in, and then you go to, to, four, to uh, third. To so, fourth. To fourth, not the fourth, to third. <laughs> Whatever it is. I'm so good at shifting, they put a fourth speed in there. <laughs> you count in reverse. Yeah. yeah. Idling is good. Just give it a little bit of gas, just like you would if you were in your car, and slowly release. 
clutch. Okay, push the clutch in maybe a little bit while we're going into this big bump. Say as well. Yep. yep. And then okay. you can shut it off. Yep. And we're there. Oops. Oops. <laughs> well, we were close to making it all smooth. We had a few bumps, and that's okay. It was very fun. It's all good. What a great day. What a good day. How'd well, she do? She did well. I told her when she's coming in, I'm going to give her an A for this uh, check ride. Yes, she did great. Yeah, yeah I was shocked with how. Um, Considering I already drive a stick shift car, I was shocked at how similar it is. I thought it would be, I'm not going to lie, I was expecting to cry, and I wasn't expecting to be able to do it. So I'm very pleasantly <laughs> relieved. Well, guys, we did it. You, we did it. You yeah. did it. Congratulations. Did. It was thank so good. You. She did such a great job. Yeah. yeah. It was so fun. Well, thank you for coming along with us on this ride. And uh, if you're 16, you can actually drive a 89-year-old it that works. was the first time I've ever even tried to do it, and I got it, so you got it too. <laughs> she did a great job. It was very impressive. I, I'm not going to lie with you, I didn't think I was going to be able to drive it, and it was not that hard at all. So I'm, <laughs> I'm mildly surprised. Thank you for watching. We're about uh, making memories with family on a budget in this channel. We hope that you stick around, subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time while we escape quarantine. Perfect.